I am happy to introduce this unknown to me that goes by the lovely name, the delicate, beautiful, beautiful name, DJ Ass Maggots. <laughs> Where are you, DJ Ass Maggots? Oh my God! It's a bearded man I trust. Give it up for me. Good evening, everyone. How's everybody feeling tonight? Let's see if I can do this with this book in my, my hand here. I'm going to uh, wrap all of Tupac's All Eyes on Me from memory. Yeah. That'd be awesome, right? No, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. I'm just, I'm just going to read a little short thing. This is called Sweet and Tender Hooligan. Sweet and lady here. Hold on. For Facebook Live, i got to be this way, probably. <laughs> Right. So I walked into this dark and dreary Irish pub in Beverly Hills on a bright Tuesday afternoon. A few scattered souls were brewing about, some at the bar, some at booths. I sat next to this British fellow who was in his mid-forties, receding hairline, wearing mostly black, mumbling to himself and swirling a drink. The bartender's look told me I was not supposed to be there. But after I ordered my beer, he went about his business. I introduced myself to the Brit. So, man, my name's Ben. The guy looked me over as if I shouldn't have been there. But then he stuck out his hand. I'm Steven, pleased to meet you. And so I, I sat there for the next five minutes without saying a word, just watching the soundless TV at the bar. All of a sudden, the Brit puts down his drink and turns towards me directly. So what do you do? Mr. Ben, I'm a doctor. Ah, uh, a doctor. And what kind of doctor are you, Mr. No, Dr. Ben? <laughs> Internal medicine? And what is that exactly? Well, it's kind of like an adult doctor. I don't take care of kids or deliver babies or do surgeries. Kind of write a lot of notes. <laughs> I see. I've been told I don't get enough vitamin B12 in my diet. <laughs> you must be vegetarian? His expression told me I should have known. Awkward page turn. <laughs> well, I did that part. I continued. You see, vitamin B12 is the only vitamin exclusively found in the animal products. You can get iron from beans and dark green vegetables, calcium from broccoli, but there's no way around the B12. Really? Stephen sat back in his chair. How can someone so young speak words so wise? <laughs> well, thank you. One of the men sitting in a booth came over and, and spoke to the guy. Excuse me, Moses, we got to go to that spin interview. Right, right, Stephen replied. He turned towards me and continued, Dr. Ben, it was a pleasure meeting you. Perhaps I can speak, uh, ask you again for medical advice in the future. I don't really have a doctor. <clears throat> sure, here's my card. Feel free to give me a ring. Do you give your card to everyone? He asked. No, only to the unlovable. <laughs> As Stephen walked out with his entourage, he turned around. Oh, by the way, Ben, I'm just curious. Do you know who I am? <clears throat> I looked at him blankly, my best poker face. Yes, you're Stephen, a British guy with vitamin B12 deficiency. He chuckled. Then as he walked out, he laughed hard, like he hadn't laughed in a long time. And that's how I became friends with Morrissey. Thank you. <laughs> One more time for Detective DJ Ass Maggots. <laughs> I feel like I have to ask about the name also. It's a Burning Man thing. It's just Burning Man Yeah, thing. it's weird. How many burners are here? How many burners are now? It's, all right, cool, cool. It's just us. Hashtag burner life, y'all. Huh? It's about us. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go to that festival eventually, one day. One day in the future. I will. I know i got to get like an RV. I have to get like a gas mask. I have to like watch Mad Max like 14 times, right? No. I have to do a lot. I have to do a lot. I'm ready for that. Only burners would get that joke. I'm sorry. I, I left a lot of you guys out. Hashtag my bad. My bad. Anyway, next up, next up, we have 